Welcome to Comic Toy Reviews, and this is a review on the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Ares. Uh, in the last few years, Ares in Marvel Comics has been a popular character. He was a member of the Avengers, he was a member of the Dark Avengers, and Sentry tore him to pieces. But knowing comic books, this guy will eventually return because he is too popular not to return. And uh, he has this... It's bent a little, the plastic, but it's a huge sword. Look how big it is here. He has a very small sword here. It's nice how this is colored in this area, as well as the hilt here. And you can put the small sword right here on the side. It fits. The helmet is really nice, and it is removable. Looks like an old Roman type of helmet. What's nice is this area is shaded. That's right, Hasbro did some good shading here. Plus it has like that bronze and black here. So I've got like three different colors going on the helmet. Uh, really nice. Uh, the head sculpt looks really good. And you, got, like, you can see the hair here. Uh, but the funny thing is, you know, which way do you want to pose Ares with the helmet on or off? Which, even though it looks cool off, I just think it looks so much cooler on. That's why I keep the helmet on. And you can notice how the, you can even see the ear area it sticks out. So it's a really nice detailed figure by Hasbro. Uh, this area here, this painted on the chest symbol. But you can see sculpt detail here. This is uh, detailed. Same detailing here. As I said, this holds the side here. This arm, it's all sculpted detail. Uh, this arm's a little different. It looks like it got some painted hair over there. You can see some straps there. Belt buckle. Uh, nice uh, armored leg area here. It's a really good figure, but the annoying thing here was it took eight separate parts to build this figure. Eight, not six. Uh, there was one part here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, and the, the weapons and helmet were like part eight. Uh, I thought that was just Hasro really grabbing the money. It could have been just six parts. You could have just put the weapons and the head here for one part. Could use two. And that could have been the second part as well. Three, four, five, and six. But they were able to make you pay for two more figures just to get all eight parts to build this character. Uh, it's a real hard figure to find now and really expensive. Because this was also a... Uh, if I didn't mention it, it was a Walmart Wave exclusive. And you know those Walmart figures are pretty much almost impossible to get. They don't supply enough, and whatever supply they do get, it's usually sold out quick. The detailing on this figure, and I put the helmet on, the detailing is really nice, uh, as I was trying to show you here. The only way they could have improved it a little bit, maybe if this would have been instead of painted, but sculpted detail. But other than that, I mean, it's a really great figure. Hasbro actually did a really good job here. And, uh... Just trying to show you a little bit more of the figure before I go into the articulation. The head, even with the helmet on, you can't turn it side to side, but there's no real up or down. I mean, unfortunately, that's about it in terms of the head. Just really side to side, no real up or down. The shoulders, ball jointed, can go in and out, can go up and down, and you got the bicep cuts there has one point of articulation at the elbow, but you can spin it. So it's one point only. 
the hand, you can spin it at the wrist area and you do get in and out. Same thing here, spin it in and out and open grips here to hold his weapons. Upper body here, nice range of motion up and down and side to side. Nothing at the waist here, but ball jointed hips, side to side, up and down, upper thighs there. He has double knees, and what's really nice is the kneecap covers the articulation points. The feet do spin up and down, and has like a little toe pointy there, and details on the bottom of the feet as well. Same thing here. Overall, Ares is a really good action figure. Hasbro did a great job. Uh, it's tough to find this figure now. Uh, as mentioned, uh, they let you buy eight pieces when it really should have been just six. But the final product is a really good action figure. Uh, it's going to be expensive to build or to complete. But for those uh, collectors who like the character, it might be worth uh, getting. So thanks for watching and talk to you later. I am here to correct a slogan. It should be called, Make War and Not Peace. <laughs>